right, so just a little update of what's going on today. We're gonna be doing the engine mounts, all four of them, for a 2000 Toyota Camry four cylinder. Um, currently, I'm also doing the timing belt, so be on the lookout for that video. But with a timing belt, I will be changing the oil pump gaskets. So that means I have to take off the pan in order to take off the pickup tube gasket and change that also. So to make things simple, I'm just going to change all the mounts now. So this way I could jack up the pan. You know, then I could take off the pan. I don't have to worry about anything later. So get that out of the way. The first one is fairly simple. This is a 17 held in place by 414s. Take them from underneath the car. Um, that should be very simple to get in. I'm gonna loosen that up and then go to the back. I can't really show you the back right now, it's kind of dark. So I'm gonna go to the back and then work on that one. And then come over here and the transmission mount is inside here. So I'm gonna walk along the process. So and there's a top mount, so it's gonna be a little bit difficult to show you while I'm taking it out. But generally, you just try to sneak your hand in there, take out the top bolt, that should be a 17. And just work on taking out the ones at the bottom. There's one in there, one here, one here. So those was holding in, just gotta take those out. I took off the top mount, the bolt for it. In the back, I just kind of basically fished um, a 17 with some extension and a swivel. I used a gun from this side, and I was able to loosen the bolt. So now that's loose, I'm just gonna take it out. Yes, I do need a tray. Just gonna take it out. Just slide this bolt up. There you go, that's the nut that came off. The purpose of doing it this way is now when I loosen the bolts underneath the, the back, I should be able to just jack the mount, jack the whole engine up and be able to slide out the two mounts so I could install the two new ones. So this is the bolt for the front. This is the nut for the rear. And I'm just gonna work on taking off those. Those are 14s, take those out. And then work on taking the ones out in the back. Same trick with this one, just put the extension in. Hit it with a gun, I should be able to take these out for the front. So all the bolts were removed. So now all we gotta do is just basically jack this up a little bit. And we should have enough clearance to pull it out. Okay, so I removed those bolts to the back. Now I'm just jacking it up, as you can see, just to slide it out. Stick up a little bit more. Slide that out. Um, yeah. So this is the mount for the rear. This is the one for the front. So I'm gonna be installing this now. Look about the same height. Okay, and there it is. We just slide it into place. Okay, so I put the bolts back in. They're just snug just to hold the mount in place so it doesn't fall out. Now I'm gonna work on the back. So as you saw, um, I loosened the, the bolts underneath. So it should be free. Okay, so this is where it gets a little sketchy. So in order to get this out, I had to jack the engine up. I used a piece of wood and I jacked it all the way up. As you can see, the mount's right here. So now I'm able to slide it out. figure out how to get it out but that's what I had to do so there you go that's the mount I took out
This one is a stud. That's part of the mount, it didn't come off. So what I'm gonna do is put the mount in like this, line everything up, then I'll be able to slide the stud that comes with this new kit, which is right here. So this is the new bushing for it, or the new cover for it. Now I'm just gonna slide it in. Um, and of course, when I'm putting the bolt in, I will be putting the anti-seize. So, well, that's, that's where everything goes. I'm not sure how well this picks up because it is kind of dark. So, I'm just going to slide it in. Not sure how well this is going to come out. So there is a new one, it's already in. Okay, now I'm just putting the bolt in for the front. Just gotta organize it, drop it in slowly so you can have everything line up. Like I said, got an anisees. That's, that's done. Just basically lower everything. Then just go around and tighten everything up. Okay, so the back mount's all tightened up. Now I'm just gonna do this one. Oh, this one's a 17. Gotta, now I'm just gonna tighten up the one back here for the top. Now we're gonna be installed in the third mount. This is basically what they call the dog mount. And it just goes in like this. It's very simple. Basically this is only there to prevent the engine from vibrating too much. So just basically, so just put everything in. Line it up, and when you bolt these up, it'll basically pull these into place. So it'll be like that. Just tighten it down, and it'll just basically pull everything in place. Can't really do it with one hand, but yeah. So basically, just put it in like that. One bolt there, and just these twelves. So these 14s, you just basically put them in by hand, tighten them up, and then once you tighten everything up, it'll pull everything up towards the mount, and that'll prevent the engine from rocking back and forth. So now that everything's back together we have the car running we're just basically waiting for the thermostat to open you basically check um this line is going to be hot and once the thermostat open it will be hot down here right now it's cold so that means the thermostat has not opened we're waiting for that to, um, to go on the fan to kick in and now just watching the car run and just checking all just check keep your eye on the temperature make sure everything goes smoothly but yeah so far so good next i'm looking to do this I'm trying to figure out if i want to do the entire booster or the master cylinder but the master cylinder is leaking 
so I'm thinking I might just change the booster also just to be safe but like I said it's a daily a hoopty whatever you want to call it but honestly it's been good so we want to keep it up and running it just has a backup vehicle I live inside my own world of make-believe